What's going on guys? Doug Simpson Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day and check me out. I got a nice clean shaven face. I got a nice skin fade on the side. And I also have this weird red mark on the side of my cheek from shaving. I guess I get that from time to time, but I'm all set and ready to go to UMG California. I cannot wait to get out of New York and just go out to California and hang out, watch the other pro teams play, uh, maybe do some collaborations with other YouTubers and just overall relax because recently I've been stressed and I've been struggling a little bit and I was gonna make a video to talk about this a Call of Duty gameplay video but it's a little bit too hot and you know when I'm playing and I'm trying to record I try to keep my door shut so that my parents don't have to hear me talking and as you guys can tell when my door is shut and it's 75 degrees outside out there and you have an Xbox on and a computer on you start sweating and you feel uncomfortable and it just does not work I did not want to make the video I had no motivation to do it so I figured I'd just do a vlog instead and get my point across through here and I think it's a pretty important one because this is something that a lot of people have have a problem with and, and right now I'm struggling with it too and it's called temptation it's something that everyone has to deal with and sometimes you have good temptations and bad temptations and for me my bad temptation that I've been dealing with recently and I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you guys is candy. I've been eating a lot of candy. I've been binging on candy. And check this out. This is all I have in my garbage, guys. I have a thing full of M&Ms, right? I have a thing, like a big bag of Reese's Pieces, and then I have small miniature M&Ms in my garbage. That's literally all I have because that's all I've been doing is eating candy and watching this TV, laying on this bed, watching the NBA playoffs, and then just watching, you know, other teams playing Call of Duty and, you know, playing with the FaZe team and going to the finals with tournaments with them and working out, making YouTube videos, just living a normal life and doing what I have to do. But it's been a little bit depressing, this, this cloud that's been over my head. Uh, the fact that I am not on a team anymore and you know it's only gonna be until after X Games obviously I'm gonna get on a team after that and I can't because I got dropped the day of the roster lock I don't want to get into that again I really don't want to talk about it but one of the things that somebody said to me was you know Aix has done this to you now twice you know in the beginning after we won Columbus he basically said Doug I don't want to play with you anymore and he basically had his own team I had my own team his did a lot better than mine and then uh, again for prophecy he didn't want to play with Mochilla so we got rid of Moch he didn't want to play with me, so they got rid of me, and I was kind of screwed at the timing of it all getting happening, and, and it, it just sucked, but I want to use this as a uh, as a video topic. So, uh, somebody said to me in a Skype call one day, like, dude, Aix has done this to you now twice. You just beat the crap out of him. And, and they think it's funny because, you know, I have some sort of muscles on my body. They think it'd be funny if I just punched him in the face and just beat him up. And honestly, guys, has a thought went across my head. Yes, it's been tempted to me. Did I want to beat him up and not his glasses get knocked off his face and stomp on the glasses and then just curb stomp him? Yeah, like that goes in my imagination sometimes. Um, does the thought of not playing Call of Duty at all anymore went through my head? Yes, because for the two weeks when you're not on a team and you're watching these other guys play, you're going to also think of the worst case scenario. Am I not going to be on a team anymore? Am I never going to play again? Obviously, that's going to go through my head. Am I going to act on it? Am I going to punch Aix in the face? Absolutely not. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's never going to happen. Am I going to stop playing Call of Duty? Yes, eventually I'm going to stop. Right now, no, not a chance. I know that I'm still going to play in a team, and I know that I'm going to win another tournament because I want it too bad. I want it bad enough, and I want to make it happen. And, um, you know, those temptations go through your head. Do you want to quit? Do you want to punch someone in the face because they've done you wrong? Um, do you want to eat candy and just binge and just be depressed and eat candy all day and watch TV? Those things are going to happen to you. You're going to have setbacks in your life. Right now, I'm having one with pro gaming, but it's going to get better. Things are going to get better over time, and that's the message I try to say to you guys each and every single day. I'm always trying to pump you guys up with motivation, inspiration, and telling you guys that, you know, just be the best person you could be. Work the hardest you could possibly work and see I'm already starting to sweat like it's honestly ridiculous how hot it is in my room But I'm always telling you guys to just be the best person you could be do the best you could possibly do and I need to live by that I have to practice what I preach so it's really tough you know and it could be a lot worse don't get me wrong I'm a pro gamer and I play Call of Duty for a living and I make YouTube videos like things could be a lot worse than what they are and you know I just think that you need to embrace struggles. You need to embrace hard times. And that's what I tweeted the other day. I said, embrace hard times so that you could appreciate when good things happen after it. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. And I hope that if you guys are going through anything at all, if you guys have a problem, whether it's something small like you had a bad grade on a test and your parents are mad at you because you didn't study for the test or or you have like bad attendance in school because I know when I was in school, the temptation to just lay in my bed and fall asleep and then wake up and go to school just, I did not want to do it. I wanted to lay down here, I wanted to sleep, and I didn't want to wake up at 7.30 to go to school every morning. I just wanted to sleep here, and it was really tempting, and sometimes I fell into the temptation and I slept. And, you know, I'm sure that there's a lot of other people out there that want to do that too, but 
you can't do it. Like you got to just push yourself forward. And I think I was watching something that Kevin Hart said. He said you got to just push yourself to do what your body doesn't feel like doing to get what's done. So that's a little bit of a tongue twister and this vlog is going all over the place right now. But the main message that I want to send to you guys is that you're going to be tempted to do things that you shouldn't do and you know that it's not right. And you're probably going to do some of the things just because it's too tempting and you're just too likable to do it. Like I want to eat that candy. It was staring me in the face and I said, I'm going to eat this candy. And you guys always ask me all the time, what's your diet like? How, how do you train? What's your training split like? And honestly, I eat a lot of Greek yogurt, apples, peanut butter sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, but I don't tell you guys that I eat a big thing of Reese's Pieces or a big thing of M&M's but I just wanted to use this as an example like right now things aren't that good as far as being a gamer because I can't play until after X Games because all the teams are literally locked there's no way I could play so I'm sitting here for these three weeks and I'm sitting here eating candy and watching TV watching these teams play and I'm also making my YouTube videos and that's something I need to focus on a lot more make more quality YouTube videos use your time productively what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be making a bunch of sketches with Dan I don't want to get too involved with the details of it but we have a lot of things in store and a lot of cool ideas that we have planned I can't really talk about it yet but I just want to say again guys <clears throat> thank you so much for supporting me on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos every single day. You guys send me so many kind messages and I don't know how else to repay you other than to just make more videos like this and just talk about these topics and I'm starting to lose my voice. But this is my topic of the day that I wanted to talk about. I was gonna make a Call of Duty video, but instead I figured I'd just do a vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed this type of a video. It's a little bit shorter, it's a little bit more different, but the main message I'm trying to send across to you guys is that Things aren't always going to go your way. You're not always going to be on your high. You know, back in December, we won the first event of the year. My YouTube channel was doing really well. I had a good balance between the gym, between my diet, between playing with my team, between making YouTube videos. I had everything going right for me. And it just seems like I can't catch a break right now. But you got to keep your head held high. You got to keep your, you know, your shoulders back, head held high. Have pride in yourself and just keep working hard, keep pushing at it because you never know when this life's going to end. You never know when your journey's going to end and you just want to make the most of it all the time. And I know it sounds really corny and I'm not crying by any means necessary. I'm just sweating because it's so freaking hot and I think I need to end the vlog on that note. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up on it. Like, comment, subscribe and let me know some of the temptations you guys have to deal with, some of the struggles you guys have to go through and if you caved into it or if you persevered and pushed through it. And if you didn't, I hope that I can inspire you guys to do that. So I hope you guys have a fantastic night and that's all I got to say guys have a great day drop a like on the video comment subscribe and as always guys this is your sweaty boy Doug Sensor Martin I'm so corny and I'm out peace <laughs>